Well, welcome once again to the Playmakers brought to us by Zoom Video Communications. John Sutton, our former captain and premiership winning captain, joins us again. How are you, Sato? I'm good, Marcus. How are you going? Yeah, not too bad, mate. It's uh, We're getting by. The yeah, you know, the days seem to turn into all or one. It's, you, yeah. you sort of tend, tend to forget what day it is sometimes. But um, as you're probably aware, we're back in... Um, in a lockdown situation now, we're pretty similar to Sydney. The only thing with us, we're in a sort of resort, so there's a bit of room to move around. But yeah. apart from when you're in your room, you have to have a mask on. So uh, yeah, it's, it's everyone's used to it, and we know we've got to do it to get the game on. But uh, I am missing the bra, mate. <laughs> well, it's been good down here. Um, a bit of surfing, so um, you know, I've been pretty happy with that. But yeah, yeah I do miss. The missus and all the boys, it's um, it's pretty hard to watch on the, on the TV, but wow. as long as we're going good. And, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. That's what I say. You say it's pretty good down there. It was, it was pretty good at Suncorp the other night too against the Dragons with the boys. Um, you know, particularly after the day we had the day before. Did you hear much about what happened? Yes, yeah, so I, yeah. I spoke to uh, Cody. He said he's just right, arrived in Rockhampton and straight back on the plane. So. Yeah. Yeah, we, we ended up, uh, we left the hotel at 8.30 in the morning and got back at quarter past three in the afternoon. And that the whole time we'd just been sitting and that, you know, and, and with the boys, you know, they're, they're highly tuned, obviously, athletes and, you know, players a bit very on their backs and things like that and hammy. So they, uh, that's why I think the performance uh, on Sunday night under the circumstances was pretty good because the Dragons didn't leave the hotel. Yeah. So they had the whole day to prepare and, yeah, we had different circumstances, but it was a good performance. And yeah, it just shows how mentally tough the boys are and how much they really want it this year and they're playing for each other. And yeah, it doesn't matter what gets thrown at them, they're always up for the challenge. Yeah, there were some really good signs with our attack starting to come together again the other night. Particularly a few of the early tries. Uh, one was from Latrell, and then Cody backed it up not long after. Same side of the field again, the, the lethal left, as we're starting to call it. Uh, what happened with those plays, mate? How, how did you see them unfolding? Yeah, well, um, obviously, I think Adam makes a little half break on the um, first try, but with that shape, um, with Cody and Latrell there, it's very hard to defend with both them being so talented. And, um, you know, the boys running right lines, but um, when they get the plays on how they want to, it's very hard to stop. And, um, you know, we've seen that the other night. If you get Latrell, Outside his man and you know one on one with him, he's very hard to stop. So I thought it's a beautiful play for us to run. Um, we're going to see a lot more of it coming into the later rounds. But I thought you know with the trial running, it's perfect for us. Um, if we go to the next try, it's a very similar play. It's just with Adam and Cody doing the doing the play. So you know the boys can mix it up. Um, teams don't know what we're throwing at them, and it doesn't matter who it is, Adam and. Cody or the troll Cody, you know, it's just um, it's just great to see that they can all do the same positions and you know execute with um, perfection. And then we go to the right hand side when Tane Milne goes across the line, uh, and there's different ways involved again, but doing different things too, I suppose. Yeah, um, obviously when we go to the right, um, everyone's running these sorts of shapes. We've just got so many different variations on them. It's hard for teams to defend. Obviously, we had uh, Adam, Cody, and Latrell all over that side. Um, you know, Renault played nice and deep into the line. Cody held the ball up. They were looking at Latrell out the back, and he played short to Tane. So, you know, they're just mixing it up, playing really good footy. Our attack's really good at the moment. We often see what happens as a result of the play, but renault has been doing a really good job too. You say going to the line. What does going to the line, what Renault's doing, what does that do to the defence? Well, you need... You need do your playmates to go deep in the line because it holds up the defenders. Um, if they pass early, they can just slide off and man up. But, you know, Adam's doing, always been doing a great job this year, straight and right into the line and giving Latrell and Cody that time out the back to, to play footy and, you know, do what they do best. We had that little period in the game. I mean, we've talked about how good we were attacking wise. You know, we're, we're great to watch. I think everyone was watching us play football. We just had that little five, ten minute period again where we gave penalties away, we made some errors, we put ourselves under enormous pressure again, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. I think with those periods, we just have to 
um, concentrate and fight a little bit harder. It's only it's going to go away after that set, um, you know. But it has been something in our game that you know we need to cut out um, coming into the final. We need to make sure that we're playing for the full eighty and um, you know not giving up, up soft tries. Yeah, well, we tested this week. We've got play against the Parramatta Eels. They're actually staying in the same same places we're staying. It's a it's a little bit different to what you're used to, but. But we're getting on with it, you know, but you don't often see the opposition during the week leading into the game. But, you know, they're desperate. They're desperate to win. And I mean, you know, we, we, we should be bolstered this week. We get Cameron Murray back. It's great to have him back in the middle. That, that stiffens the ship up there. And uh, Junior Tatola coming back in the side. That should strengthen us as well. Yeah, no, them two quality players, a uh, big part of our team. Um, you know, Junior's coming off that knee injury, but... Um, he'll be ready to go and, you know, love, love to have Cam back because he holds that middle so well for us and he's the, um, he's a link to our halves, from Cookie to our halves, he's, he's a man in the middle there, so, you know, good to have the boys back and, um, really looking forward to this week, Parra definitely going to be up for it, obviously that, and, you know, a big loss on the weekend, so, we're looking forward to this game and we'll see where Parra are out and we'll see where we're at with the goal in the finals. Exactly right. And Wayne made a comment at the press conference after the game. We had seven regular first graders out, and we did. You know, and, um, you know, the, the guys are slowly trickling back. Like we, we, and Benji comes back into the team this week as well on the bench. So there's three more that have come back. So we're slowly getting the numbers back. And when we get them all back together, um, that's when I reckon we'll play our best football. I don't think we're quite there yet, but it's something to look forward this, to this week. I know you'll be watching from back there in uh, Old Maroubra town. Uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll hear you cheering up here and uh, Stace and Pip and Ace, they'll be all watching as well. So enjoy yourself down there and uh, trust that the Rabbitohs are doing the best they can. I hope you're all watching us on Friday night against the Eels.